As a pale sun rose over Agincourt woods, a French army made their preparations for their forthcoming trial of strength in battle. Although it was a cold, damp, misty autumn morning, they were supremely confident that they were about to avenge the past defeats of Crecy and Poitiers. The French host numbered over 30,000. Among them, 12 princes of royal blood and thousands of peers, the cream of French chivalry. Against them, were 6,000 starving, sick, and exhausted Englishmen. Within a few short hours, many of the same French nobles would be dead, killed by common men, using a weapon viewed with disdain by the finely caparisoned knights.